Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to integrate Node Red with React. So let's get started. First of all, I'll be taking HTTP request node. Here I'll be sending the URL endpoint as student info. Click on done. Now I'll be taking MongoDB node. So here I need to configure this MongoDB node. So first of all, my collections name I'll be adding here. My collection name is students and database name is test. So I'll just copy paste this student name there. So once I configure this and pass the URL in the web browser, you can see that we're getting the response here, which is from the database data. Now this data I need to show using React table. Coming to the React part, so I already configured here react application. So I'll be writing one JSX file. A JSX file will be student info dot JSX. Okay. And I'll be writing the code here. So this is my component. If you have any idea about the react, then this will be a very easy for you. I'll just get some information from the react how it works or how the basic code structure will be working. So you can just refer that. So here I want to create one table using react where I can display the data on click of a button. I am creating one button here on click of this fetch student information. So I will be getting the data from the database and displaying in the UI. So here comes my function fetch student information. In this I want to call a API which is created in the node thread. Okay. Here I'll be trying to catch it in the try catch block. Okay. So here I'll be passing that URL in the fetch. You can see that the URL which is present here, I'll just copy paste here and I'll catch the response using that. So basically I'll be taking the data and changing it to the JSON format. So as I'm getting the data in the form of a like object, so I'll be converting it in an array so that I can easily pass it into the react table. So I'm using the map function for this. So I'll be creating one new state here to hold the data which is coming from the API. So initial B will be an empty array. Okay, once I get the data, I'll pass it to the set student information function. If API gets failed, I'll just try to show the console log saying something went wrong. Now the data which is stored in the student info variable, I'll be trying to show it in the table. So I'll be taking table node, header node. So what are the header name is there? Just try to pass it in the header. Okay, like name, age, grade. the address now these are the data which I need to pass in the rows let me create a table row now first of all I'll be taking table body student information dot map here we have the data of the student so I'll be displaying over here so I'll be displaying like student name age grade subjects and address We have a sub multiple subjects here, so I'll be using join to add those subjects. And finally, we are displaying the address here. In the address, I'll be showing only the city name. 
now i need to call that component in the app.js file so we are called here now let me run that url as you can see we are able to see that page has been displayed so i forgot to give the name of the button so i'll be giving that so once i click on the button you can see that i am getting the data from the database if you like this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe and comment down below if you have any queries thanks for watching